Alrighty, and welcome to The Principles of Success, Season 1, Episode 5. And because I'm recording these in batches, well, last week I forgot to mention that as of right now of recording, I am still waiting on distribu distribution channels to approve my podcast. So when you're listening to these in the future, the reason why there hasn't been any Motivational Monday or interviewing the expert episodes is because I have those ready to go, but because it is still pending, I figured I'd go ahead and wait on those until I am approved for all the different distribution channels and then start them up that way. The only reason why I'm doing these in order of what I'm doing them in is because there's exactly enough weeks to do exactly the number of principles. So that's why. So with that announcement, let's get started with the principles of success. And this is the first episode of the Principles of Action. And action is probably one of the most important principles. I'll probably say that plenty. This is the principle that really is the principle that makes everything happen. It's the result principle. Um, because if you don't take action, nothing happens, obviously. So you just have to do it. You just have to get started. You have to go. You have to do it. Just do it and keep on doing it. And when things get tough, you got to do it. And when you're not sure what to do, you need to figure it out and then do it. When you're struggling with yourself, whether you're depressed or maybe life's falling apart around you, you still need to do it. Maybe if you're like me and would rather be eating and watching Netflix right now, you need to do it. If, if you just need to do it because that's what success is. It's just doing it and doing it and doing it until it's done. And then you have to keep doing it to keep it done because success is never owned. It is rented and the rent is due every day. I don't remember who coined that quote, but I like that quote because it's true. If you don't keep working at it, things will fall into decay. And as you keep working at it, things will keep improving. So just keep doing, just keep striving, just keep working at it. And you can't have any excuses. Back to, I think it was last week, with the victim mindset, if you have too many things that are weighing you down, then you're not going to succeed. And excuses are people's most popular thing that they let them hold them back. It's the most popular thing and it's the most common and it's the most true because the excuses a lot of times are true. Um, for me, I'm tired. I'm skinny. I am very socially awkward. All of which are very true. Does that mean I can, if I want success, I can let those stop me? No. Other examples of are people that are broke, have no money, have no car, have poor health, poor energy, poor suffer from depression, uh, have mental issues. Race issues, and it can be a minority. Uh, it can be because you're a woman, or it can be because you're a man, depending on the different fields. It can be an infinite number of things. It could be because you have no time. That's a big one. You have no money. It could be because you don't know what to do. The list goes on and on and on. But 
if you want success, you have to drop the excuses because nobody cares. And that's a hard thing to say, but really, nobody cares that much. The market definitely does not care whether your business succeeds or fails. If you don't take care of your friends and family, they won't particularly care if you're miserable or if you die. Um, there might be a little bit of care with people that are really, really close to you, that have been stuck with you since birth, but in general, somebody who you met last year won't really be that heartbroken if you end up being kind of a crappy friend and then you drop off the face of the earth. So, nobody cares. The market does, definitely doesn't care. And success doesn't care. Your health does not care if you're tired and if going to the gym is hard or if you have a bad knee or shoulder or all sorts of other excuses. It doesn't care if you don't like the taste of broccoli. I actually love the taste of broccoli, but it doesn't care. So while excuses might be valid, the problem with excuses is they don't matter because nobody cares. Nothing cares. The world is a cold, hard place. And unless you take it into your own hands, Reality will grind you into dust. And even when you do try and take it into your own hands, reality will still do its best to grind you into dust. Aren't I a great motivational speaker? <laughs> so, excuses don't matter. All that matters is the results. All that matters is the actions that you take. Your boss does not care what your excuses are. If you don't come with up with the results, he's going to be a little ticked. If you do come up with the results, he's going to be a little happy. From my, if somebody buys one of my books, then they're expecting a certain amount of enjoyment. And if they don't enjoy it, if they don't enjoy it, there's not too much I can do about it because Everyone has different tastes, but they're generally a little annoyed if they didn't enjoy it. Lots of people do enjoy my books. Lots of people... Actually, I don't think... As of right now, when I'm recording this, I don't think I've had more than one negative review. But... There's lots of... I'm sure there will be lots of people that hate my books. Anyway. So... The results are all that matter. And as you continue working on yourself, you're going to fail a ton. Like a ton, a ton, a ton. In fact, it can get very depressing. A lot. I, well, everyone has different ways of coping with their depression. One of mine is I kind of shut down. And lots of people have anxiety and stuff from messing up. I've literally hidden underneath my blankets. Doesn't help much, but I've literally done that. So, you're gonna fail a lot. And the nice thing about always being focused on those results is you figure out what doesn't work as often as you do figure out what does work. So when you focus on those results, and not worry about failing, then you can go, yep, that didn't work, but I'm still going this way. Yep, that didn't work, but I'm still going this way. And don't talk about it, just do it. Talk is easy, talk is cheap. I should know, I love talking, to myself at least, and to a little, speaker, microphone thingy, and a camera, but 
talk is cheap, and you can say you want to be successful all you want. You can ha you can say you want a million dollars, but if you don't do the things that are required to achieve a million dollars, you're not going to get the million dollars. You can say that you want a vibrant marriage, but if you go out and party with your friends and cheat and ignore your spouse, you're not going to have a very successful marriage. You can say you want to be healthy, but if your house is filled with junk food and you don't have a single vegetable in sight, you're probably going to be fat. You can say that you want to do all sorts of stuff, but you have to do the things that you say you want. You have to do the things that lead to that. Anyway, I think I'm going to end it there. Thank you for listening. I went on a pretty long rant last time, but again, I just want to say, if you got value out of this, please share it, because it is a benefit to your friends and your family if you got benefit out of it, for them to get benefit out of it too. And if you didn't like it, please let me know. So that way I can improve and make sure that next time it is of benefit to you. Or a few times from now because that's recording. Yeah. Anyway, thank you and I will see you all next time.